Hello, it is night nine of the Mid-Atlantis Rush for the Gold Tournament. This is going to be the final determining matches for blocks A and B. We will have a definitive winner tonight. So let's take a look at those standings. Um, just as a side note, Shane Studd has won block D. And if you look over at block A, Brickyard Brown and Honest Dave are at three and one. Uh, Honest Dave with a win takes it all. And even if they both lose, Honest Dave's going to win. Crimson Cross might have an outside chance, but I would have to look at that afterwards. I don't think he wins even if he goes 3-2. and two. And then Block B is a much easier one to determine as JJ Houston and Stu Masters are going to wrestle tonight to determine uh, who takes the B block. So let's get this show on the road. So coming out first, we have Sergeant Major Payne, and his opponent is Crimson Cross. So we are going to get this one on the road and roll for initiative. Okay, that's Crimson Cross's initiative. So we'll say a three and a five is what? Three, five, one. Okay, three. He needs a four to stay in this one, and he doesn't get it. Your winner is Crimson Cross, who finishes the tournament at 3-2 and two, uh, with a nice showing. And he has, I think, an outside shot of maybe winning this tournament, but we will see how that goes. Okay, so coming out first, we have the United Sectors champion Brickyard Brown taking on Hot Flash Cash. So Brickyard Brown is in a must-win situation right here. He needs to win to have a hope. Okay, so that is his fast forward. So Hot Flash has got to avoid a 1 and a 5. Oh, he gets a 2, so he's still in this one. Brick Blaster, so a 1 and a 5 here. He gets a 2, so he's safe. 5, Roundhouse Right. 6, Block. 1, Judo Chop. 2, Hit. 6, Brick Blaster, so 1 and a 5. He gets a six, so he's safe. Three, leg drop. Uh, five, pop. Got to avoid a five. He gets a two. Six, brick blaster. One and a five here. Gets a three. Four, rumble rating. Brickyard's a plus three. Hot flash's a plus two. So hot flash cash is going to go on offense here. Four, flashy DDT. Two, headbutt. Three, hot flash is going on offense. Five, chop block. Two, Brickyard Brown is going on offense here. Five, roundhouse right. Five, pop, got to avoid a five. He gets a five. He needs a two to stay in this one. Oh, and he gets it. Hot Flash Cash holds on. Three, leg drop. Two, hit. One, judo chop. Six, block. Six, brick blaster. So he's got to avoid a one and a five here. He gets a six. Four rumble rating. And that is gonna be hot flash cash going on offense here. Two figure four leg lock. One dodge. Three lefty oh left jabs. A uh, five hit. Six rumble rating. And hot flash is gonna stay on offense there. One hot stuff. So one and three and a six is what Hot Flash's got to avoid here. I mean, what Brickyard's got to avoid. And he gets a four, two, figure four, leg lock. Five, hit. Five, chop block. One, dodge. Uh, four, flashy DDT. Three, block. Uh, six, rumble rating. And that is going to be Brickyard going on offense here. One, judo chop. Six, block. One judo chop again. Two hit. Four rumble rating. And Brickyard's going to stay on offense there. Three leg drop. Uh, three hot flash cash going to go on offense. Six rumble rating. And that is going to be hot flash staying on offense there. One hot stuff. So a one, a three, and a six is what he's got to avoid here. He, he got a six. He needs a four to stay in this one. And he doesn't get it. Your winner is Hot Flash Cash. Well, that is a disappointing end of the tournament for Brickyard Brown as he started at 
three and zero, oh, and he finishes at three and two. So he is probably out of this tournament regardless. So we have Honest Abe taking on Mega Power to finish off the A block. Honest Abe should have. I'm gonna say 90% sure Honest Abe has this one um, locked down, even with a loss here. So a five and a two. So Mega Power is gonna go on offense. Three, Bionic Knee Smash. Two, Honest Dave going on offense. Two, Double Leg Drive. Five, Mega Power. Six, Atomic Elbow. So one and a four is what Abe's got to avoid. Four, he needs a two and a six to stay in this one. And he doesn't get it. Your winner is Mega Power. So that is a loss for... For um, both of the favorites there, I believe Honest Abe wins, but I will double check to make sure that Crimson Cross is um, not going to be the not going to be the winner of that block. So if he had beaten Honest Abe in their match, I'd have to go back and check now. He would move on in the tournament. Okay, so coming out we have Rip Rockin' against Lex Lightyear to start. The B block. Both men had disappointing showings in this tournament. So let's start this one off here. So a five and a one. Neither man's fast forward. Lex is going to go on offense for Rigel Rack. One hit. One super kick. Five rip rock and going on offense here. Six rocker drop. One Lex Lightyear going on offense. One super kick. Six pop, gotta avoid an even. He gets a three. Four, Rigel Rack. Two pop, gotta avoid an even here. He gets a six, he needs a two to stay in this one. And he doesn't get it. Your winner is Lex Lightyear. So Lex Lightyear, uh, ending the tournament on a positive note. So now we have the big match for the B block. This is going to be J.J. Houston taking on Stu Masters. The winner of this match is going to take it all. They are going to be the winner of the B block, and they are going to move on to um, the semifinals here. So a two and a one. Neither man's fast forward, but um, Stu's going on offense here. Three. Grizzly Bear Hug. So the only thing that is going to save J.J. here is a two and a six. He gets a four. He needs a four to stay in this one. And he doesn't get it. And just like that, being 4-0 did nothing for JJ. And your winner and winner of the B block is Stu Masters. Wow, that ended in a quick, uh, quick one there. Stu Masters heads on to the semifinals to join Honest Abe and Shane Studd. Okay, so coming out next, we have Mr. Grappling taking on Manny Fernandez. Unfortunately for both men, they are not moving on. This one is just for some bragging rights. Okay, a six and a two. That's actually Manny's fast forward. So a three and a four is what grappling's got. Boy, he gets a five, so Manny's going to go on offense here. Two, backhand strike. One, Mr. Grappling's going to go on offense. Two, cross knee lock. Six hit. And six Iowa backdrop. Two Raging Bulls going on offense here. Four thrust kick. Three Mr. Grappling going on offense. Two cross knee lock. Two Manny Fernandez going on offense. One bull power. Three Mr. Grappling's going on offense. One Hawkeye hammer. So a two and a four is what Manny Fernandez has got to avoid. He gets a six. Three rumble rating. Manny's a plus three. Mr. Grappling's a plus two. That's going to be Manny Fernandez going on offense. Two, backhand strike. Four, hit. Six, flying knee drop. One, Mr. Grappling's going to go on offense. One, Hawkeye hammer. So a two and a four is what Manny's got to avoid. He gets a five. So five, cyclone roll. So four and a five is what Manny's got to avoid here. He gets a five, so he needs a two to stay in this. And he doesn't get it. So your winner is Mr. Grappling, who finishes the tournament at 3-2. and two. He doesn't win the bracket, but that is um, a nice moral victory for him. 
So that is it for night nine. Stu Masters takes the B block, and we're, I'm pretty sure Honest Abe took the A block, but I will double check that. So join me next time for night 10, and we will see who's going to join Shane Stud uh, and take the C block. So until then, I will see you next time.